So I've let these liquids settle for a little bit. I just wanted to show them to you. It's a little easier to see now the six separate layers. So here we have corn syrup, dish soap. The water is still pretty cloudy because of the soap and the oil. Here's the oil. We've got um, rubbing alcohol and that lamp oil. Now the rubbing alcohol and the lamp oil, the colors did kind of mix together. I'm really not sure about that. Anyway, just wanted you to see a little bit better after I had a chance to sit. The longer I'd let it sit, it would do even better. So I was babbling at the end of that last video about, ah, the dangers and dangers of some of these materials. So I just wanted to show you the dangers of some of these. Um, rubbing alcohol, it does say on the label, it is flammable, keep away from the flame. So it's used if you have um, like actually muscle aches and stuff, you can put it on a cloth and rub it on your arms or wherever your muscle is hurting. Um, it says it is for external use only. Yeah, I remember hearing somebody say they used to use this if they had cuts, it put rubbing alcohol on it. Like, ow, oh, that would hurt. So yeah, don't do that. But I'm gonna show you something um, kind of to prove to you how dangerous this stuff is. So do not do this at home. I am a grown up, I know what I'm doing sometimes. All right, so this better work because that's the last of it. I've had that stuff for quite a few years. Hopefully it will work. All right, so I put some in here in a glass jar. I need to turn the lights off to get a better effect. So I wish I knew how to cut and paste in these things. I don't, so I'll be right back. Da 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 Hey, ooh, it's spooky. It's dark in here. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm a goof. All right, there's our jar of rubbing alcohol. And this works better if I had matches, actually. Whoop, get in there. Get in there. Oh, whoa. Oh, man, it didn't work very well. Okay, can you see that? So if you put that in there, do you see that blue flame? Oh, it goes out so quick. Ah! Normally when you do it, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Isn't that cool? Now watch this, I can put it out just by depriving it or taking away oxygen. Boop. I covered it up, there's no longer oxygen touching it. It can't breathe, fire needs oxygen to continue going. But look at this, now this should work. You notice before when I lit it, I had to put this all the way down into the liquid. This, you can't see it, I had to put the, the little matchy thing. It should light by the fumes. Oh. Now normally, you know how a lot of times if you light something on fire and once it's burned, it's not going to light again? Well, that's not the case with this. There it goes again. Isn't that cool looking though? I love that blue. Look at that blue flame. That is so cool. But again, if I take anything and cover it up to keep oxygen from getting at it, it would go out. Now, one thing a lot of people will do in their kitchens is if they have any kind of fire in the kitchen, like a grease fire, you can't throw water on a grease fire. Oh, that just went out. But one thing you can put on it is baking soda. And I'm gonna light that again and show you because baking soda will smother it. It'll actually smother it again to take that oxygen away. Isn't that amazing how it just keeps burning and keeps burning? But look, I'm going to put some. There. That's gone. I wonder if it would light again. Let's give it a try. Come on now. 
Whoa. Oh, look, the fumes did. Look at that. Even with the baking soda in there, that just shows you how incredibly flammable this stuff is. It's been lit on fire. Um, I don't even know how many times because that first few times it went out kind of quickly. And look, it just keeps going.